Stay tuned if you want to learn how to make these gorgeous earrings with me. Welcome to my channel, Vibrant Soul Crafts, where we express our creative imagination. These are the supplies that we will be using. Hey guys, I am Vibrant Expressions and welcome back to Vibrant Soul Crafts. This video is another spinoff of the Bargain Bee Box April edition. All right, so I would like to share this pattern with you. I figure, okay, April is ending. This is the last day of April. And let's see what else I can come up with, okay? So this is what I came up with, all right? So this is a tutorial, and we will be making this earring. First off, let me say thank you to... All of those who have viewed my video, who has liked my video, who has given me the thumbs up, those who has subscribed to my video, and also those who have left such beautiful, wonderful comments and great feedbacks as well. I truly, truly appreciate it, okay? And this, all of this helps to grow this channel, and when this channel grows, the creative energy grows to be shared out with others. So let's keep it going, guys. All right. So the tools that we'll be using are the flat pliers, round nose plier, and another flat plier. This one is curved. Um, again, I like to use two pliers when I am dealing with such tiny... Um, jump rings okay so let's get started with the memory wire this memory wire is a full cycle okay a full loop cycle measurement okay so this is what we're dealing with we're gonna grab the flat plier and we're going to make a loop okay we're going to ensure that the loop is closed and this is what we have. We're gonna get started with the beading. This right here is the beading pattern, um, the beads that we'll be using. So we're gonna start off with the tiny spacer beads, six, one, two, three, Four, five. They're so tiny. <laughs> it's a little tough to grip. <laughs> and then six. Look. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Oh, nope. Nope. Guys, y'all was going to let me do that. No one stopped me. <laughs> We're going to start off with a noodle bead. Okay, the noodle bead, we're going to slide, okay, straight to the other end, like that. And then <laughs> we're going to add the tiny spacer beads all over again. But it's okay, because I'm really enjoying this beautiful... Um, spring light -like day out here in New York. Okay, lately we've been having a lot of cooler weather and lack of sun, but I'm thankful and grateful that we do have some sun shining. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. 
Next, we're going to add the green agate. Okay, tiny spacer. Rondell. Large spacer. The Jasper Gem. Okay. Large spacer. Okay, then we're going to grab the pendant. Okay, and then we're going to repeat the pattern. Rhinestone, large rhine, rhinestone. Jasper agate, um, <laughs> Jasper gem. Large rhinestone. Rondell. Tiny spacer. And then the green agate. Okay, and then we're going to finish it all up with the six spacer beads followed by the final noodle bead. It's one, two, three. Okay. Four, four, five, six. Okay, and the last noodle bead. All right, we're going to slide that down. Okay, so. This is what we have, guys, all right? So we have our pattern established on here. So what we're going to do is close the other end. Um, before we do that, I just want to point something out really quickly. Here we have some bare, let me put that down. We have some bare wire showing, okay? It doesn't bother me at all, all right? Um... Some people, it may bother. It may bother you. And if it does, all you have to do is just trim off. You slide everything down, right, to where it's not showing. Okay, there's no bare wire showing. And then you would trim down this. Before we loop anything, you would trim down the wire to where you have just enough space to make a loop. That's all you need to do, okay? But it's fine with me, so I'll leave it as is, and I will create my loop. Okay, and I will make sure that it's closed. And this is what we have. So now we need to, because we're going to join the two loops together, so we need them standing straight up facing one another. So we're going to grab the flat plier Give it a little twist so that it's standing like that. Okay. And we're going to do the same to the other side. Give it a little twist. And then see what we have. Okay. A little twist. So we join them and this is what we have. This is what we're looking for. Okay, that's good. So at this point, all that's left to do is just add our um, fish hook. So we'll start off by opening up the large jump ring, entering the large jump ring into each loop. Okay, and then we're going to close the jump ring. Okay, like that. 
Now we're going to grab the little jump ring, twist open, hook on the big jump ring that's connected to the earring like this. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to hook on the fish hook as well to the little jump ring. Okay, we're going to close the little jump ring. Okay, and then there we have our earrings. All right, this was a quick tutorial, guys. And um, just another idea regarding this month's April Be uh, Bargain Beatbox Edition I wanted to share with everyone. All right, this was um, a nice, quick weekend um, project. And um, I do have some other things that I'm working on that I will be uploading this week, this coming week. Who knows? Maybe tomorrow. But anyhow, guys, if this video has um, helped you in any way, if it has inspired you, if you like this creation, then I invite you to give me a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, and subscribe. Leave comments. Let me know. Uh, you know, what your weekend projects, creative projects are. Let me know if you're going to make these earrings. Let me know what's going on creative-wise. All right, guys? I love to share the inspiration. And thank you again for the comments and feedback. Till next time, guys. Bye. You don't get teased, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then tell you don't, so leave me be, please. Uh, when you got 20, I'm your, I'll be filthy rich. But come